Hello and welcome to this short demo on the key NPIV related enhancements that will be delivered with version 6.3.5 of the VPARS and Integrity VM product. These are SAN isolation during NPIV migrations and bandwidth management with NPIV HBAs. SAN isolation during NPIV migrations. With the increasing consolidation of workloads in virtual environments, it becomes necessary to ensure that your critical workloads get to operate on the best resources both on the original VSP host as well as on any target VSP they may migrate to. The SAN isolation feature attempts to achieve this for NPIV resources. It allows you to label the NPIV resources on the source and target VSP into categories based on the speed of FC ports or the load on the switch to which the ports are connected. Once this is done, the HPVM migrate command will use the label information as a hint while picking FC ports on the target VSP for placement of NPIV HPAs of the migrating VPAR or VM. Here, we are on a source VSP with a guest called Demo Guest having two NPIV HPAs. The NPIV HPAs are backed by FCD devices FCD1 and FCD2, both of which have been labeled as 16 GB fast SAN. To ensure that on the target VSP, the desired FC ports get associated with these NPIV HPAs, we will label the desired FC ports with the same label on the target. Now, we initiate a migration from the source to the target VSP. On the target VSP, we see that the demo guest NPIV HPAs have been placed on FCD17 and FCD18, both of which have matching labels of 16 GB fast SAN. Bandwidth management with NPIV HPAs. With the NPIV feature of FC technology, one can create multiple virtual FC ports backed by a single physical FC port and assign these virtual HPA instances across VPARs and VMs. Prior to version 6.3 of the product, there was no way to associate a certain minimum guaranteed bandwidth with any of these virtual instances. Now, with version 6.3.5, each of these NPIV HPAs can have a certain bandwidth percentage associated with them and the specified percentage of the physical FC port's bandwidth is guaranteed to be available for the NPIV HPA during high load scenarios. Now, the VM demo guest is on the target VSP and here we add two NPIV HPAs to it with bandwidth entitlements of 25% and 50%. So, for a 16 GB physical FC port, this would translate to a guaranteed minimum bandwidth of 4 Gbps and 8 Gbps respectively. Now demo guest with these bandwidth entitlements is being migrated back to the source VSP. Post migration, we see that both the bandwidth entitlement and the label criteria have been retained for the NPIV virtual HBAs. 